I think it's safe to say that most of us who share an interest in clothing, particularly sartorial styles, tend to prefer the cooler times of the month, as it's the perfect time to layer, wear awesome textured suits, coats, and boots, all that good stuff. And though I'm not in this category, I see its appeal. But when the weather actually starts to get cold, cold, then you have to do some extra thinking. So this is how Benjamin and I dress for the winter. It's a little different than most. Maybe. One of the most important parts of dressing for cold temperatures is fabric. Linen in the winter? A bad idea. It does not keep you warm and it may look a bit out of place. My favorites are tweed and flannel. Both are wool materials, mostly with a heavy weight and a tight weave. For trousers I prefer flannel because it is very easy to style. These are my light grey flannels, basically a neutral piece and therefore a great foundation for any kind of outfit. I can pair it with a turtleneck or with a dress shirt, with a tailored jacket or with a more casual piece. But I know that my friend Demetrius Levi is a fan of corduroys, another great fabric for colder months. Now, unlike Benjamin, I don't have flannel, but I do have corduroy, but not your typical normal corduroy. This corduroy. It's an ultra-wide weft cord in white from the artisan Sartoria Corrado, who specialize in handmade trousers that I purchased at Barocco Italia, a site that only sells items made in Italy by actual artisans, which is what I actually preach on this channel. And if you guys want to see a more in-depth review of these pants, let me know in the comment section down below. As I mentioned in a previous video, I tend to gravitate towards certain things that are outside of their natural place in certain paradigms, and white pants in the winter is definitely not common, let alone in a winter fabric, but it doesn't look wrong and it really keeps me warm. These are the warmest pants that I own and they're perfect for those days below 20 degrees. Fahrenheit negative seven for the rest of the world. Remember, when it comes to any season, it's not the color in particular that's important, it's more the fabric. When it comes to jackets, I enjoy the interesting texture of a Donegal tweed. I just recently ordered a safari jacket in this certain fabric and I am excited how it will turn out. But again, corduroy or heavy wool fabrics are just as nice as a tweed cloth. And not to forget what to put underneath the jacket. I am a sucker for knits, especially turtleneck sweaters. They pair well with odd jackets and trousers, but also with a full suit. Cardigans are a nice addition as well, of course with a shirt underneath. Concerning shirts, I enjoy a thick cotton fabric during the winter, maybe even a cotton flannel. It might not be very wrinkle resistant, but it keeps me warm. Now for jackets, one that I especially love is this one, this Glen Plaid one from Taliatore. It's really thick and warm, and it goes great with this sweater or the gray version of the sweater that I own, because most of the time in the winter, I'm wearing sweaters, turtlenecks, polos, shirts, quarter zips, all that good stuff. What I actually wear more than this jacket is this jacket and this jacket. These jackets both have great textures to them, so they're great for the winter, but they're also unlined, which means they're not too, too warm, and I can wear them throughout most of the year, all seasons except the summer. Now the reason why I'd rather go with an unlined jacket than a lined thick jacket in the winter is because most of the time I'm inside. And guess what? It's not cold. This isn't, you know, the 19th century, right? We have some pretty good heating nowadays. So there's no real need for those super thick tweeds that are lined and stuff because they used to do that because it was cold inside the house and now it isn't. And if I am gonna go outside, then I'm gonna put a coat over that and you're not gonna see it. And to me, the jacket's kind of the focal point of the outfit. So if I'm going to have a jacket, I don't wanna be really hot and sweaty while I'm wearing it, especially if I'm wearing it with a sweater and these corduroy pants. So when looking for a jacket in the winter, you gotta think about what kind of lifestyle and what things you do the most. If you're inside the most, if it's heated, then probably it's best to go with an unlined jacket because you'll get more use out of it. Enough talking, let's actually get dressed. I'm already wearing a light gray cotton shirt and my gray flannels, so what's next? Socks would be a great thing. Let's just go toe in tone with these thick cotton socks that will keep me warm. Let's also add a tie. It looks good and it actually is another layer of warmth on top of my shirt. Layering in general is a good idea when it's cold and it also makes an easy look a bit more complex and interesting. So let's wear this burgundy cardigan from Uniqlo. 
the woolen art jacket on top. This one is from Spear and Mackay. And of course, a pocket square and my watch as finishing touches. Now, while white does go with literally everything, there are two colors that I absolutely love to pair white with, especially in the winter forest green and dark brown. So, for example, if I'm wearing my dark green turtleneck, I'll usually wear my forest green socks with them. Or if I'm wearing brown like this, then I wear my plain brown socks or my shadow stripe brown socks. Just like that. And for my watch, of course, I'm always wearing my Orion Bambino Generation 2 Version 2 with a brown strap this time. I probably should get a green strap with it. Or make one, paint one, dye one. See, ideas, ideas. Gotta love them. Now, Ben is probably dressed by now and is expecting me to be dressed, I bet. So, I should probably find something to wear. Okay, I like that. Uh, now, I know I said I like online jackets, preferably, but hold on. I think this will do just fine. All right, back to you, Ben, my bruv. Now we're both already wearing warm and cozy winter outfits, but for actually going out of the house, it's not quite enough. It's time for a nice overcoat, maybe this one I got from Hocker Tea? On very cold days I also like to add a scarf that provides another layer and looks very stylish. Not to forget the hat, I usually wear a fedora when I wear an overcoat. Did we miss something? Oh, of course, shoes! My personal favorite for the winter, especially on rainy or snowy days, is a pair of boots. These are from Shoe Passion and have a day-night rubber outsole that should prevent me from slipping. And here we go, the winter outfit is complete. Levi, what's your take on this? Now see, my shoe game is different from my boy Ben's, and I'm a sucker for loafers. So, the winter doesn't stop me from wearing them. And like I said, I love green and brown, and that includes my shoes. Like these green suede loafers from Jay Butler, which I've already done a review on. Or these brown fringe loafers from Santoni. And even though they have a leather sole on them, they have a great grip, so slipping around in the winter isn't much of a problem. And the texture of stripes going from the pants to the socks to the fringes on the loafers make for some awesome detailing. I was able to wear these loafers all winter long until this February when we just got gang banged by a whole lot of snow. And most of my US homies are experiencing this even down in the deep south. My condolences. And for that, I'll be wearing my Beckett Simonon boots because hey, they're just awesome looking. But still, even then, I'm still gonna be wearing loafers. Now when it comes to coats, while I do have a camel overcoat, it's been in my trunk since October 2nd and I haven't taken it out. And hey, I have my reasons, all right? And so I wear instead this 80s jacket that I actually got at a thrift store that's mega warm and a nice rich tobacco brown or this navy peacoat. And you know what? Both do the trick perfectly fine. And I generally don't wear any scarves or anything like that or hats either because this mob keeps me warm enough generally. And for gloves, I got some pretty adequate gloves. But you know what? I'm more comfortable in life than 99% of even kings throughout history. So you know what? A little cold doesn't hurt. So that's how Benjamin and I dress for the cold. Comment down below how you guys do it. And look, I know it's late in the winter and all, but hey, you can watch this again next season and get a head start, or it's perfect time for you guys down under. So massive thanks to Ben for being on the channel again. It's always great to have him. And until next time, a deal. That cat ignores me until I start working. A deal. Really, cat? You got to do that as I finish? So that's how... Oh, kitty. Because then get a head start. Okay.